गाइज वाट्स एप वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो आई वॉज रिसेंटली क्लीनिंग माई मेकअप स्टैश एंड दैट्स वन आई फाउंड सो मेनी मेकअप प्रोडक्ट्स दैट एक्सपायर्ड एंड आई डिसाइडेड टू फिल्म अ वीडियो अबाउट इट एंड शो यू गाइज ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स इन माई मेकअप स्टैश दैट एक्सपायर्ड एंड गिव यू मेनी रिव्यूज अबाउट दैम सो या विदाउट एनी फर्दर अ डू लेट्स क्विकली बिगिन विद टेज वीडियो सो बिफोर आई बिगिन विद द वीडियो आई जस्ट वन मैंशन दैट नन ऑफ दीज प्रोडक्ट्स आर न्यू लॉन्चेज आई हैव हैड दम फॉर अ वाइल फॉर ओवर लाइक टू थ्री और फोर ईयर्स and that is how they actually expired so in no particular order let me quickly show you all of the products that i have so the first product on my list is this miss clear clear primer so this is an anti redness primer uh, let me tell you that it does nothing for your redness at all it does uh, help to minimize the appearance of your pores it does help to fill in your pores and creates a smoother canvas for your foundation application but definitely does nothing for your redness the mrp of this when i bought it back then was 395 rupees and it provides you with 30 ml which is a good and affordable price i don't know if the prices of any of these products has changed now they may have increased they may have the crease i don't know but back then when i bought it this was the mrp the second product that i have is this lakme 9 to 5 weightless mousse foundation this used to be one of my favorite foundations it is so lightweight it has the consistency of a mousse you don't require any makeup tools you can just apply and blend it with your fingers it works like magic it provides you with a you know sheer to sort of a medium coverage the mrp of this foundation was 575 rupees for 29 grams of product which is a decent pricing and in case if you want to try this foundation out for an everyday basis then you can also go for the smaller size i think that one retails around like 150 bucks The next foundation that I have is this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation. When I found out that this expired, I immediately got another one because I'm so fond of this foundation. It works really well for my oily skin. It works for dry skin as well. It doesn't really, you know, dry out your skin or anything like that. It stays on for a very long time. It keeps your skin matte and controls the oil formulation for a very long time. It doesn't really emphasize my pores even if I'm not wearing a primer. So this is an amazing foundation. foundation uh this one used to retail for rupees 525 the next product that i have is this la girl pro conceal hd do i even have to give a review about this product i mean it's hyped by so many youtubers uh it's an hd uh, concealer so it photographs really really well it is lightweight and it blends beautifully they have shades for everyone and you can use it as an everyday concealer it comes with this brush tip applicator which is like really convenient to use so this is an amazing concealer and i think this retailed for around 595 rupees back then next up i have this eye shadow palette by makeup revolution it's their redemption palette in acid bright that is how beautiful the colors look like and i bought this palette for these bright colors and it only came to my disappointment that they are not at all pigmented i barely use this palette like two or three times because whenever i would try to use it it just wouldn't show up on my eyes and it has so much of fall out and the colors are so chalky and not really blendable it's very difficult to use this palette the mrp of this palette back then was 1050 rupees but it's not even worth 50 bucks trust me next up i have another makeup revolution product it's their uh, iconic blush bronze and brighten palette in the shade rave and that is how the palette looks like so it comes with a bronzer a highlighter and a blush and honestly it's an amazing palette to carry while traveling this is sort of an everyday palette the highlighter isn't something that's going to pop out on your cheeks but it's just something that looks like a glow from within uh, even the blush and the bronzer are not very very over the top but they are like subtle colors and you can use this palette for an everyday basis This one retailed for rupees eight hundred and fifty, and I've used this palette so much. I'm so sad it expired. Next, I have another foundation which is L'Oreal Infallible Twenty Four Hour Foundation. Now, honestly, this foundation is not that great. It costs rupees one thousand four hundred and fifty, which is a steep price for a foundation like L'Oreal. Uh, it would oxidize so badly like i have seen foundations that oxidize but they just oxidize to a shade down but this one would oxidize to like three shades down on my skin which would be like a big no no 
it would last for a really long time it's a very long lasting foundation but what is the use of it if it oxidizes and makes your skin look like you know two to three shades darker so this isn't a foundation that i would recommend anybody uh, there are so many better foundations even by l'oreal the pro matte foundation is like really really nice so skip this and stick to those foundations they are actually cheaper and work better next up i have this lacme absolute blur perfect makeup primer this used to be one of my holy grail makeup primers before I stopped using primer. It does help to blur out your skin and blur out the acne marks that you have on your skin. It does help to fill in your pores and it has a very mousse-like consistency. But if you apply a foundation on top of it, it's not gonna like blend that well as it should with other primers. But if you apply a BB cream on top of it or something that's a little hydrating on top of it, then that's gonna work really well because this primer is a little bit dry drying on the skin. The MRP of this is 650 rupees for 30 grams. Another primer that I have is this Color Bar Perfect Match Primer. This retailed for rupees 825 for 30 ml of product. It would blur every single pore on your skin. It would fill it in and it would create the perfect base for foundation application. This is the best primer to go for if you're looking for a good quality affordable primer. It does the job perfectly without drying out your skin or without making it too oily. It's just perfect you know it's just so sad that i stopped using primers all of them just expired sitting in my makeup vanity uh, anywho the next part that i have is this lacme absolute illuminating shimmer brick that is how all of the colors look like and i would use this as a blush or as a highlighter this retail for a piece 725 which is kind of a steep price for lacme but this is kind of the best blush in my vanity for like festivals for wedding occasions etc it gives you an amazing sheen on your face if you have a lot of texture on your skin like tiny bumps tiny acne or just a lot of open pores then you want to skip this and stick to a matte blush you shouldn't really go for um, you know shimmer products as much because they kind of emphasize on the texture of your skin a lot next up i have this music flower gel eyeliner uh, this is in the shade blue i have a full review on this eyeliner and it's really good for beginners to just try out and just practice winged eyeliner i don't really know if this is a proper brand or if it's a chinese brand or what uh, but it's a good eyeliner overall uh, you have to go in twice to achieve an opaque finish of this eyeliner next up i have this nika black magic liquid liner which i absolutely hate so i'm not sure about the mrp of this i think it's around 299 rupees uh, this was not a matte eyeliner. I prefer my eyeliners, my black eyeliners to be matte. Uh, this had sort of a sheen going on which wouldn't really look as flattering on my eyes especially. This eyeliner isn't even long lasting. It would start chipping off from my eyes and I'd be like what the hell is happening? Like this is the first eyeliner that chipped on my eyes. Um, so for the price of this you can find like so many better eyeliners on the market you shouldn't really invest in this one next up I have this Miss Claire matte finish long lasting makeup finishing spray it does set your makeup in place it does uh, you know melt all of the products together so that they blend in together and look better on your face but it doesn't really make your makeup that long lasting as it claims uh, your makeup is fairly gonna last for about like four to five hours depending upon the weather so it's good to just blend your makeup but it's not really gonna make it very long lasting. The MRP of this is 495 and this is one of the most affordable makeup setting sprays in the market. Next I have this Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Balance Stick Foundation. That is how it looked like and this wasn't really my shade. Well online shopping sometimes does lead to that. So the MRP of this is 550 rupees. It's a stick foundation and stick foundations are usually meant for oily skin and they're supposed to kind of you know mattify your skin and all of that. But this did the exact opposite of that. Instead of mattifying my skin, it would make my skin look more oily and more greasy. And I just wouldn't like that effect. And in spite of setting my face with a lot of powder, after a while it would just become as oily and as greasy as it was when I applied this. So this isn't a stick foundation that I recommend for oily skin. However, if you have dry skin and if you want to go for a stick foundation, this might be a really good option. Next, I have this Bella Waste Hydrating Filling and Enhancing foundation with hyaluronic acid the MRP of this is 699 rupees for 30 ml of product which is a steep price for a brand like Bella Waste 
Honestly, this foundation is, isn't even that good. It provided just a sheer to medium sort of a coverage. It would enhance my pores. It, it would enhance the texture of my skin. It wouldn't really make my skin look better like how foundations are supposed to work. Um, so honestly, I didn't really like this foundation because of which I didn't really use it and finish it up and because of which this expired. Next, I have another Maybelline product. Oh my God, I have so many Maybelline products. So this is their We Face Duo Stick and this has a contour on one end and a highlighter at the other end. Both of them are creamy and they blend really well. They are not as pigmented so you kind of need to go in with like two or three times. But they do the job for you. They are really good for beginners who find it difficult to work with cream products. The MRP of this was somewhere around 550 or 650 bucks which is kind of a good price point considering you have like a highlighter and a contour. Another Maybelline product. So this is Maybelline Eye Studio Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner in Black. And this was one of my favorite eyeliners at that time. I don't know why I stopped using this and this dried out and then it expired so it, there's no point even reviving this eyeliner. It's super duper long lasting. It's priced only at around like 500 or 550 bucks which is affordable for a gel eyeliner. I don't know there's just nothing negative to say about this product. It's amazing. It's really good and I highly recommend you check this product out. Next I have this Wet n Wild Single Eyeshadow. This is a glitter one in the shade Brass. And I did use this up a lot and honestly it's not a good pressed glitter eyeshadow. If you apply an eyeshadow you are gonna blink, you are gonna move your eyes, your eyes talk, right? So when you move your eyes and if your eyeshadow like creases and if it moves from the place that you apply it, there's no point of applying it, right? And that is what exactly happens with this. It doesn't stay in place, it creases, it moves, it budges but it just won't stay in place. So this eyeshadow gets a big no-no from my side. Next I have this Maybelline The Colossal Liner. It's a sketch liner. That is the tip of the liner. So honestly, it's a good sketch liner for beginners. You can you know, easily create a winged eyeliner with the help of this. But the only sad part about this liner is that it dries out really fast, faster than most of the other sketch liners. So I wouldn't really recommend this one, it retails around 450 bucks, but you can get like better quality sketch eyeliners at a cheaper price than this one. And finally the last product that I have is this NYX White Liquid Liner. I bought this like 3 years ago and this is the only NYX product that I own and I saved it for creative eye looks and honestly I did not even use it once. It just sat there in my vanity, it expired, it dried out and... I didn't really get a chance to use it so it really makes me sad that I could not even use it once and you know I just wasted my money on it and that's why you should have limited makeup products and you should really use the products that you have before you buy new ones don't just keep you know binging on makeup and don't just keep collecting makeup because it's gonna expire someday and your money is gonna be wasted so make sure you use the makeup that you have and not waste your money unfortunately i cannot really give you a review on this because i didn't use it so yeah those were all of the products in my makeup vanity that expired and those were the many reviews on them i hope this video was helpful for you all let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more such videos in the future so that i can save up on all of the products that expire later um also if you found this video helpful and if you enjoyed watching it then please give it a big fat thumbs up and also do subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on instagram where i post a lot of igtv videos and yeah but that's a wrap for now this is ria signing off goodbye